episode number 60, Conscious Endeavors, Self-Respect, Self-Love. Why are we talking about it? Because it's lacking in 98% of the population of human beings. You ever walk past somebody, and then they just screwed up their face to show you how much they hate you? <laughs> Did you ever walk past somebody and they gave you this ugly look like you just killed their familiar something? This is a self-respect, self-love issue. And it's not on you, it's on them. There's no reason for you to go a week or a month or a year and not talk to someone. And then the first time back you see them, they're giving you ugly, dirty snarls and looks. That's on them. That's not on you. That's a self-respect issue and a self-love issue that that person has within themselves. They hate themselves. They hate something about themselves. If they're going to hang on to a, t a grudge like this for so long. I understand sometimes there could be a legitimate situation where you're upset with someone because of something that they did or an argument or a feud or a fight. But if you haven't seen someone in months or years... And the first time back you're on the phone with them or you see them in person at a show or in a public or restaurant or church or somewhere or whatever. And then all of a sudden they look at you with this ugly look that's got nothing to do with you. And it's got everything to do with them. This is a self-love issue within them, not you. A lot of us, we act out how we feel emotionally. We want to show people how we feel emotionally. And we have this unwritten rule or human nature within us that we want people to be able to relate to us and what we're going through. We want people to relate to us and we want to relate to others, okay? But still, we're very primordial and dumb in the year 2022. The human race is still ignorant, very, very much so. With the technology that we have, with the resources that we have, with the knowledge that we have, in the information age, there's no reason, absolutely no reason, and no excuses. You should have no reason and no excuse to be ignorant. If you choose to be ignorant in this day and age of information, this is the information age. If you choose, if you're still ignorant and if you don't know the truths and the answers, and if you don't know, if you can't use your brain, if you can't use your consciousness and your brain that God gave you, and if you are still saying that people are garbage crazy and everyone else is crazy but you it's only your fault if you're speaking of conspiracy theories it's your fault and no one else's ignorance is a choice in this day and age in the information age that we have right now okay so if you choose to remain ignorant because all the answers are out there if you search and if you do the proper research and homework and thousands of hours of it, I might add. Do your due diligence, thousands of, thousands of hours of research, and you will find the answers and the truth. And if you still don't know, then that's on you. It's not on anyone else. You can't blame anyone else for your own ignorance. You have to take responsibility for your action. And if you choose to stay ignorant in the information age, then that's your fault and no one else's. Because some people are more aware and more conscious than others, it doesn't mean that they're better. It just means that they're seeing this reality through a different scope of lenses than you are. And I might add, pay attention to the zealous preachers and the crazy people out there that are preaching zealously their word and their truth. Because the crazies who are preaching their truth know something that everyone else doesn't. If I can give a little tip, 
pay attention to the zealous preachers because they know something that everyone else doesn't. There should be no reason for someone to hate you after weeks, months, years of not talking to them. If there's an issue, then it's on them and not you. This is a self-love issue. This is a self-respect issue. If that person can't respect you after not talking to you for months or years, if they can't respect you for uh, after for so long taking a break and not talking to you for such a long time, and then they're going to be angry and mad at you and they're going to start fighting with you, the issue is on them. Not you. Insanity is the norm in this reality. Ignorance is the norm in this reality, even though the information is out there. Brainwashing, indoctrination is the, in the norm in this reality. It's the norm in this reality. People who actually use their brains that God gave them, people who actually apply their consciousness, that's a rarity. You don't see that often. The more you raise your consciousness, the crazy you look to other people. This is the truth. The more you raise your awareness to this reality, the more you raise your consciousness, the more you open your wisdom, the more you open the floodgates for your consciousness, the crazier you are going to look to everyone in your external reality. This is why self-respect and self-love is so important. I say what I want. I've gotten in trouble for it in the past. And probably will in the future. But I say what I want and how I feel because this is how I feel. This is my truth. I speak my truth. Why am I doing conscious endeavors? Because I never had a voice. I was never able to use my voice before. Everyone was always shutting me up. Everybody was always shutting me out. We're not going to talk about these things, Jonathan. So what happens when you try to suppress someone? They blow up later. All the like the news anchors and the actors and the actresses and the rock stars, those are all those a lot of those people were suppressed. And they were shut out when they were younger. And what are they doing now? Now they're on the stages. Now everybody's listening to them. When no one would listen to them before. Do you see how it works? Do you see how the flip side of If you suppress someone, if you try to shut someone out, they're going to start a talk show later. <laughs> Control. Controlling people are enraged in fear. They're unraveled and they're, they're, they're um, consumed in fear. So if you're trying to control someone, and if you try to control what other people do, it's your own fear. Okay? You can't force somebody to do something. You can't control what the person does and what they don't do. If you're always trying to control people, this is a fear within yourself that you have to get over. You have to face your fear. Don't be controlling. You can't control someone's life. You let that person live how they want to live. You let that person make their decisions. That's the self-love, self-respect. When you have the self-respect and the self-love for yourself, then you start to live your life on your terms. And you don't give a shit what anyone else has to say or what anyone else has to think. And then you become the trendsetter and then people follow you. And then you are the leader and everybody's going to follow and see what you're doing. Because you are moving from your own free will and your own power. You are creating and manifesting from yourself. You're not using anyone else. You're not having anyone else help you. You just step into your power. That's basically what I'm trying to explain. That's, that's what I wanted to spit out. 
you step into your power once you have the self-respect, the self-love, the self-esteem, and the confidence. So you can stand up and you can speak your truth and you could use your voice, you could use your throat chakra. After all, we need to learn how to use the power stations of the body. Why don't they teach this in school? It's to keep everyone suppressed. So you don't step into your power. Why is there brainwashing and indoctrination in the news and uh, all over television and radio? So you don't step into your power. Because the people who run everything, they don't want you to have that power. The shepherds that run this human ant farm, however you want to call it, they don't want you to know the truth. They don't want you to step into your power. They want to take the power away from you. That's why self-respect and self-love is so important. If you do not respect yourself, if you don't love yourself unconditionally, you give your power away. Conscious endeavors. Have a good day.